The federal government says it is committed to popularizing indigenous culture and tourism potentials as a means to diversifying the nation's economy. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, dropped the hint at the 2021 triannual Ito Ogbo Festival in Obosi Community, Anambra State. Bamedele Ajayi reports. These are members of the traditional cabinet in procession to welcome the traditional ruler of the kingdom to the arena. As soon as Igwe got seated, the national anthem was taken. Over a century ago, Obosi, a town located less than two kilometers from the eastern gateway of River Niger, began to celebrate age grace that the members attained the ripe age of 80. It became known as the Itoogbo and comes up every three years, in line with the number of years that separate one age grade from the other. Igwebike age grade is a line for the honor this year. By this, the octogenarians are exempted from taxes, levies, and other demands from the citizens, except for making peace and study for the truth. As a mark of great respect, tradition dictates that from today henceforth, all members of the Webika Age Bridge are exempted from all forms of levies and assignments of community service. However, these octogenarians who voluntarily wish to participate in community service of their own free will are free to do so. To the people of Obusi, Itaubo is more than just a festival, it is a celebration of life. Itaubo is an age-long festival of the Obusi ancient kingdom that has prevailed for hundreds of years. Where members of the age grade who collectively attain the age of 80 years celebrate their octogen octogenarian status jointly in a super colossal celebration that is greater than Christmas, New Year and Easter all rolled into one in Obosi. The goal of this festival is to celebrate longevity, encourage the youth to inspire to live, to be honored on a payment of 80 years. After over a hundred years of unbroken celebration, this triannual festival is currently being deliberated by the federal government of Nigeria to present it to the United Nations Cultural Agency, UNESCO, to be enlisted among the biggest cultural events of the world. Over the years, Ito Oposi Festival has been used to facilitate, develop and harness the cultural and tourism potentials of not only Obosi Kingdom and Anambra states, but Nigeria in general. We want to assure you that the subsequent editions of Itoogo Festival will not only attract tourists from Nigeria, but from all over the world. Some citizens of Obosi who converged to celebrate longevity as witness in the life of the people spoke on what this event means to them. We are looking at partnering with the community, that is as a government, to uh, promote and boost this festival. We want to make it a world-class festival. Living for 80 years in good health means so much to these celebrators. We are now eight. It was not eight days, but eighty years. Eh? So every one of us is grateful. We, thank, we are thanking God for that. In the Bosi land, most of us are either educated. Most people don't go to school. And stress is one of the things that does not allow life to progress. The high point of the event is the capping of the octogenarians by the traditional ruler of Obosi, signifying their induction into the exclusive senior citizens class of Obuechi. Then, 
the celebrators and their guests were treated to different masquerade and cultural displays. From here, the new Ogweishis and their families take the celebration back to their homes. Life expectancy in Nigeria is spent at 54.5 years. And now, 150 men and women walk through 80 years in one community, still standing and dancing. Attention is now shifted to the next three years, where another age grade will take the stage for the honor, and perhaps the expected global recognition will have been perfected. By Medele Ajayi, TVC News, Obosi. Yeah.